The contemporary. Contemporary. The contemporary. 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 Nottingham contemporary. The contemporary. Uh -huh. The contemporaries. In the contemporary. Yes. And it was so nice to see a new gallery in Nottingham. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I suppose it was, yeah. 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 The 55 plus writing class that I go to at the Theatre Royal, we went, one of our sessions, to that American photography oh. exhibition at the Contemporary oh. and we had to each go around and choose a, uh, a photograph that particularly appealed to us and then write about um, the characters oh. in, in the photographs and that was um, a really enriching and interesting mm. experience. Uh, but I agree, sometimes you go in there and you think, is this art? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. How much money has been spent on mm -hmm. it? We have occasionally gone round there though with one of the... We, um, we go with a, a curator. You know, curators, well, we yes. Yes. And you do, you do actually you get, get more out yes. of it yes. if you're yes. with yes. one yes. of the curators. But, but some of the exhibitions, if you went by yourself, yeah. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have no, a clue. I mean, the wouldn't. photographic, American photographic one was very good. Well, it was good. Yeah. And yeah. that was an exhibition yes. you could do on get your own and get something out of it. But also years ago I did a WEA writing class in the contemporary and the, the tutor was wonderful, she was so inspirational and we, we used whatever was in the gallery as a stimulus mm. Uh, mm. for writing. Mm. Yes. And that, yeah. that really made you look at art in much more detail, and very, often very critical, but that, that was... Uh, That's more really engaging. Mm. Way of doing it, very engaging. Mm. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know it's important, but I can bring up, but I mean, to build a building at that expense and so on, I think the focus is far too narrow. If they right. want more people to go, yes. they should broaden mm. this appeal. Mm. I, the problem for modern artists is that they've got to, they can't just, you know, imitate, they can't do a pastiche of the past, you know. Mm -hmm. So the same with writing and plays to a certain extent. Yeah. So they've got to keep pushing the boundaries, but to a certain extent, sometimes they're having to go so far in abstraction and so forth, I think that the... Uh, lose people. Uh, not only lose people, but I, I think it's, you know, in, in some ways, a lot of it is meaningless. I think contemporary art has a lot we just don't know how to read contemporary yeah, art, do yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. so we walk around galleries of yeah. contemporary art and think, oh, what was that about? Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, I think yeah. contemporary art is important. Yes. I I like the... the they try to do multicultural. Yeah. That's yes, good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas some of the others are really a bit... Yeah, Looking fashion. back, British yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That I kind of think, being there, done that. Do I need to do it? When it was originally built, it was mm. quite a spectacular, yeah. mm. high-profile mm. building, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. Which, of course, divided a lot of people's opinion yes. because mm. some people love it and some hate it. Yes. Mm. I think it's quite good. Yeah. Mm. Well, for a lot of people, um, they don't really like the fact that it's so diverse, all the different things, and that some of it won't appeal to everybody. Mm. But I just think that's all right, you know? Mm. But a lot of people think it should appeal to more people. A lot of the things they don't feel are always accessible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But they well, have really good music events on there yes. as yes. well. I've never been to see any films there, but they have old film showings, mm. and the music events are really good. I really, I really enjoyed um, the, especially the uh, states of America and mm. what have you. And so it's not about the exhibition, but actually there is nowhere to sit down around the gallery right. and for me then I will never go again I can't stand that long I can't yeah, yeah. it has mm. there has to be some so it's it's fine to have wide corridors and so that is good access and lift and what have you but actually for the walking wounded then you actually need to be able to sit down in order to be able to appreciate things and and for me then a lot of the things are about actually can I do that yes and so I will miss out on things if the that sort of access isn't there, no flat, there's flat access <coughs> to the building. There's a lift to the cafe. That's all fine. But that's, there's nowhere to sit. But there's nowhere to the sit when you go round yeah. and look at the, yeah. the pictures. I think it would be really good to have a group like this, for example, yeah. that met perhaps when a new exhibition was on or during to, to talk about it. Yeah. To talk about the sorts of things that people might like to yes. have on. It it doesn't really cater to 
directly for, for well, then perhaps not many places do in that respect. But I always feel when I go, mm -hmm. I always feel quite old. Right. It tends to be quite a young place. And that's okay, but I think it perhaps needs to... And the whole thing about seating could well be that. Because they don't do, like, or I've never seen, like, a tour, you know, like at Lakeside they do curators' tours, don't they? Or they'll do talks about a particular um, exhibition. The last one had quite a few things you could have gone to, which yes. I saw afterwards, which you didn't mm. realise. But then mm. any one of the staff is very knowledgeable, and you can ask anybody that's there, and they'll talk at length to you. Yes. So they're not just standing there to make sure you don't spoil anything. They yeah. will tell you anything you want to know. Am I one of the few ones who go, has been to Nottingham Contemporary four times and been disappointed on each occasion? What I have seen is just so abstract that it has mean, no meaning to me. Mm. I was in one room, I recall there was a mound of what looked to be earth, approximately 12 foot by 12 foot in size, raised off the floor by about two feet, and on the top there was some white chalky matter mm. and I spoke to one of the persons who was standing there obviously to give guidance to, mm. to, uh, and said look can you help me please um, how am I meant to re what's my reaction to that <laughs> yeah, and her yeah. reply was and I really couldn't believe it because it was just a textbook said the art is your reaction to the piece <laughs> <laughs> and that's much how my experience is of, of, of the contemporary but it has to be more than just sticking a few pictures on, on the wall and expecting everybody to mm. be able to interpret it. It has to be an all-round experience that, that makes you want to go back. So, you know, mm. I would go back to the contemporary for the cafe, but I'm damned if I go and look at a yeah. picture. Yeah. Mm. Broadway, 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 I think, is one of the yeah. biggest cultural, has it's had one of the biggest yeah. cultural impacts on yeah. the city. Yeah. It is fantastic. Yeah. Streaming of plays from the National Theatre mm. and opera from the Met, yeah, that, that has, has made has it amazing. Yeah. We, can right. see, yeah. we can see top-class performances mm. yeah. and top-class singers and actors for 15 pounds. Yeah. 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 Every one of us here yeah. goes mm. to Broadway. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably every week. Every, well, Tony totally every week. <laughs> Several times a week. But but I think every one yeah. of us yeah. goes at least. Yeah. They started off years ago. Out of choice with, of all the cinemas. Yeah. Yeah. And then with funding from the Arts Council, you know, they modernised, expanded, so yes. there are now four screens. And they've all they have all the mainstream right. mainstream films there, but they also they're not you, independent. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see those yeah. things there. Four yeah, people here are regulars at the operas because they do the live relay on the Saturday. There may be other people who go to those, I don't. But on the Sunday lunchtime, which means you can come and go in the daylight on the bus. Yes. They do the um, encore, yeah. so right. you, uh, you have the uh, performance that's taken place the night before in New York, relayed at 12 o'clock on a Sunday in Nottingham. You don't think? Oh, no. But also exhibitions. You take your chances. And mm. I've listened, I've been to operas that I wouldn't even have considered going to because I didn't Me know, too. know yes. anything about yeah. them or the title. Yeah. You're learning all the time. Oh, I'm learning. It's accessible. Yes. Me too, yes. yeah. But to but see some of the art exhibitions, like um, uh, you Cezanne, films often, yes. yeah, there was the yeah. film of an exhibition yes. of Cezanne, yeah. and I know it's, it's not like lovely. seeing the real mm. thing, mm. but neither are you having to pay to go to yeah. London yeah. and stand shoulder yeah. to shoulder yeah. with a great yeah. crowd to see yeah. them, yeah. and you get someone commenting on well, the paintings, which is an excellent, and so then you can perhaps go and see yeah. the real yeah. thing yeah. with yeah. all that knowledge. They, uh, they use the exhibition as a focus and then make a commercial film about it, which increases their revenue with a commentary, so that the, the, the camera moves around the pictures, but it also gives you wonderful um, photographs and, and film of the surrounding scenery, you know, right. actual countryside and so Where on. Where it was painted, yes. Yes. the life yeah. of the painting. Right. Okay. Yeah. And if you become a member at the Broadway, you can go for as little as £12. Mm. Pounds. And I gather people are paying £80 plus to go to pop concerts. Uh, at Broadway, and also the Lace Market Theatre, which I belong to, yes, Theatre's I, my I, passion, I um, 
They have um, a validating machines, but you take your ordinary, you take your ticket as you go in as normal, yeah. and then either at our lace market theatre or there, you put it in a validating machine, and provided you're under four hours, when you put the machine ticket in the machine as normal, <laughs> costs you three quid. Oh, oh. I've been there. That has the most amazing cafe. Oh, right. Really good home <laughs> cooked food. Mm and two levels and frequently has really interesting things on oh. and it's used a lot by different communities and St Gregory Boulevard yeah oh, it's, right. it's right near the tram stop it's just right. across the road from the tram stop it's a lot more local um, Midlands based artists and photography and hmm. and it's it's more well everything I've seen there has been more related to community hmm. and I feel often more accessible the, the yeah. exhibitions are, are, are quite good, and mm. the little theatre, sometimes mm. there's some good, some quite good comedy at the theatre I've seen, mm. and lots of other things as well. Yeah, mm. 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 yeah. exhibitions they've got there, there aren't sufficient places for people to sit down, right. because my husband is affected like you, I right. understand. Yeah, the Viking the exhibition, I didn't yes. see anywhere to sit. There wasn't, we were up at that, yeah. and there wasn't. It really seriously affects anybody who's got um, sort of back condition. It will have a knock-on effect of but my friends who won't go yes, because they're not yes. coming, because yeah. I won't be able to go and, and things like, like that. So, And I imagine for actually at the other end of the set scale, if you've got people with younger children who mm. might want to, yeah, or pregnant, yes. yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah the trams to. definitely, it's better uh, for Lakeside now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. more yeah. accessible with the tram. It's yeah. a lot better there. Yeah. Mm. I go there all the time because it, it, I don't feel old. So I went to an exhibition of um, sacks and stones and, you know. Vikings. The, no, it was before mm -hmm. the Vikings. Yes. The lady there took me around and we went in the back and I was feeling a stone that mm. was millions of years old. Yeah. And it was just absolutely fine. Yeah. If you want someone to take you around, they will arrange it. And if you want to sit down, just tell them and they will arrange a chair for you to, to go in every mm. single department or every room. But to me, they, they cater more for the older people than they do for the younger ones. I've They're never been actually in the Galleries of Justice itself. Yeah. Well, I did once. I went to a Christmas party, which was great. Yes, I Not recently. Yeah. 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 Not recently. Yeah. Not recently. Yeah. We're supposed to be going because it's the new. We're supposed to be going because of all the new. Mm. Mm. It's got a whole new wins. thing, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got. You've got it's courts all about, and all about equality and stuff. Yeah, now, yeah, isn't it? yeah. And it used to be. Yeah. We also <laughs> went to a play about. Um, the prisoners that they used to send to Australia, that right. was about just the female prisoners, and it was in, there's like a boat thing, isn't there, you go around and mm. it's like a ship, mm. um, and the play was you just stood in this ship and then they acted it out, which was quite good, except that you've still got this problem of there's nowhere to sit, <laughs> you, you couldn't sit yeah. down, because mm -hmm. they were walking through you and things. But yeah, it's better yeah. now. But it was, it's, it was it's really atmospheric, now. because it's about a subject, you know, because just go back to the contemporary, I yes. think their biggest issue is it's not subjects that people are familiar with. Well, I've only been once, yeah, I've been once. but this is the sort of place you wouldn't want to go again. You want to go again. Yeah, you might go again because there's a family come and visit you. Yes, that's it, that's when you try. Yes, it's where you take visit. So you need a really good cafe and a welcoming cafe and a comfortable cafe and you need the seats and and you need the stuff which is about ch challenging you, taking out of your comfort zone. But you need the people to be able to explain things to you. And I really like the idea of focus groups that mm. might come with a, a new exhibition where you can, mm. you can do that mm. and what have you. But it has to be more than just sticking a few pictures on, on the wall and expecting everybody to mm. be able to interpret it. I also think we, we need to be really careful that we're not putting things on for older people. But I think, you know, I went to an exhibition at, um, I can't remember where, but it was Saturday night and Sunday morning. I think it was at Lakeside. It was at Lakeside, yes. Lakeside, yes. And what was I wonderful went. about that was black and white photographs, but there were people, of course, it was a lot of Nottingham because it was the Rally, oh, rally yeah. Factory yeah, yeah, and so on. It? 
And there were, yeah, people walking around, oh yeah, I remember that. But then there were also younger people walking around saying, yeah. wow, you know, this is what it was like. So to get something like that that mm. appeals to everyone, it's, I guess it's not easy to do, mm. but they certainly, mm. in my view, achieved it there. For me, I don't know what's going on. I don't receive the information and I'm not somewhere, I don't think about it if I am somewhere. Theatres yeah. and, theaters and cinemas, and one can easily find out what's on. Mm. At least it can for me. Yeah. Some of it's sent to me by email, uh, and then perhaps if I'm coming to town, because I do a writer's group in town, I will wander around and, and see what's on and have a look. Whereas to go down to the lakeside is too far to wander down there. Yeah. In terms yeah. of promoting all the galleries, this issue of the tram going to yeah. all of the them, tram, yeah. the, the, the galleries are all missing out without because they're not yeah. advertising on the tram. Mm. Do you know you can get on the tram, mm. go here, see this, yeah. have a wonderful yeah. meal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, but the Nottingham Post on Fridays has um, an entertainment guide. Yeah. There's mm. a lot of no. advertising of art exhibitions. They do, they do advertise music, folk yeah. and jazz yes, and yeah. there is that's in there. I mean the castle I think could do far more oh, than it does. Yes, definitely. It's some quite interesting paintings. I used to oh, take yeah. my yeah. foreign language yeah. students there yeah. to get them to talk about the paintings and what they liked and didn't mm. like and things. And when you you do go, there's there's quite a lot of interesting stuff, but it's it's not promoted in no, any no, way no, whatsoever. No, no. They could do far more with the no. castle than they do. It's, it's kind of true. neutral. Mm. It's mm. kind of mm. you know you just yeah. And there's business just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at me. It's, it's like a museum. You get charged you know, like if you're in the city. Like it's an old antique. A tiny place is the Society of Artists on Friar Lane and when they've got exhibitions on they always have people, volunteers, uh, fellow artists, uh, mm. manning or womaning the place mm. but um, my husband was a member of there, um, his complaint is that they don't do enough advertising for the public about what's on. I think Nottingham in general doesn't feel like, well to me, an unsafe place mm -hmm. to yeah. be. I'd walk around the city at night, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the trusses are pretty yeah. dire when it gets late at night. And well, again, that's where you, yeah. particularly where you live. I mean, I'm on the tram yeah. route, so it's absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. The bus is going out south Nottingham, because mm. I think we all come in in cars. I, I drive to a tram station and come in on the tram mm -hmm. because I can't get back home when. If I've been to the theatre, the buses are once an hour. Mm -hmm. And okay. you invariably, they go at ten past and the play's finished at quarter past. I live quite a way out, about 15 miles, but I still come into Nottingham. The thing that probably would attract me more to going to like Broadway cinema is that you, because I have to, I'm reliant on the car, mm. because I couldn't get back at night on the yes, train, yeah, although yeah. there's a good train during the day, but I couldn't really get back at night in time, is um, for Broadway, you get, you get your ticket validated, so it's only... Three pounds for the evening, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it whether the Royal Concert Hall and the Theatre Royal do that for an evening. I don't think that Nottinghamshire is good at promoting its treasures. Thinking particularly of Newstead Abbey, Byron, yes, world yeah. class yes, figure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah. if you're not lucky, it's closed when you yeah. yes. go to visit. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Annesley yeah. Hall, mm -hmm. Annesley Hall, yeah. which is now a ruin, yeah. Yeah. and that was strong connections with Byron where his first girlfriend yeah. lived yeah. and features in his yeah. poetry. Yeah. Yeah. It's just been allowed to fall into yeah. ruin. Now no other country would allow that sort of thing I to happen. Know. Someone just mentioned Lawrence as well. That yeah. 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 Lawrence, yeah. They've just sold up the Lawrence. They've closed it. They've closed it. Yeah. 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 Lawrence heritage, but yeah. it's, it's gone. closed. What sure. a shame. Here, yeah. I think they are selling the public short because mm. people come from Greece, they come from all over the mm. world to see where Byron yeah. 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 he's a hero yeah. to them. Yeah. Yeah. He's not to us, is he? Not <laughs> well, me, but yeah. you know, not to yeah. not to Nottingham in general. Quite a few of the things in, in the museums in London are are have got sort of a story that that takes mm. you around that particular exhibition. Yeah. And yeah. things particularly yeah. to, to appeal to children to find things yeah. in paintings mm. and that yeah. sort of thing. The, the way thing. of presenting stuff yes. can yeah. be replicated. Yes. Yeah. Tell yeah. the story yeah. of that 
group of objects yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, historical yeah. time of yeah, it and, yeah. and, and, you know, how it connected with the culture and all that kind of thing. That's what you get. Yeah, Whereas, yeah. too often, you get a series of just mm, objects yeah, the that, are, that are disconnected. WEA courses. I go to one, for instance, on plays and playgoing. So we go to plays here at the theatres in Nottingham, Derby, Sheffield, Birmingham, and even up to Manchester sometimes. And that's part of the course, mm -hmm. the arranging to go to those things. Oh, and there's also Five Leaves Bookshop, which puts on courses. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, talks, yes. yes. Oh. And, and evening so. do's with writers. Yes, yes. Yeah. it's on the market square, you go up a little alleyway. And there's a very good mm -hmm. independent bookshop, and they put yeah. on... Uh, talks and there's a book group and things like okay. that, which is very good. I, I'm in a book group with a couple of ladies and we always meet in Waterstones. Um, but I've been to Waterstones with Writing East Middle East. Yes. On yeah. a Friday morning with Cathy Grindron, a creative writing course. Right, yes. you're over 55. Yeah. Yes. They're all Hall. So I go right. to the one at the Playhouse. Yeah. Yeah. They also do dance and play reading and there's a book. Yeah, yeah. Well. And, and music, music. Yeah. sewing as well, yeah. fabric. Some, yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant actually, that, the over mm. 55 thing. I think. Yeah. yeah, which I think is it's partly funded probably by the Arts Council. Writing, especially if it's memoir writing or anyway, your mm. own, whatever you write and your own experience comes into it. Mm. Obviously, at our mm. age, we've all had tremendously very mm. different experiences. It's very therapeutic mm. to write, uh, and but it's te the classes tend to be in very middle class places. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if they, some of the writing classes were located more in a village hall, and you said it's it's memoir writing, write about your childhood, and this sort of thing it would draw in far more people who might be a bit intimidated by mm. the glamour of, mm. uh, of the Theatre Royal mm. um, or, or even, mm. uh, you know, the contemporary. Mm -hmm. And yet I think lots of people who probably haven't mm. written f since they were at school, mm. Mm -hmm. the therapy of writing about your experiences mm. is very important. We're quite a small group, so we sort of... We say to ourselves that we're sort of we're friends who like painting together, yes. and that's what I like about it. I I'm not particularly keen on painting on my own, right? So I do like working with a group, and I just well I just enjoy the you know the actual mm. activity of painting and producing mm. a a half decent painting occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and we do do um, exhibitions as well. You know we have our own exhibition which we do annually but we we put our own paintings mm. in different exhibitions that are around the the locality. Mm. 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 So I so thought you always painted solitary but you don't, you paint in mm. a group. No, in fact I used to belong to an art group and I loved it. Yes. Mm. And the reason I got into this art group was I went along um, when Clarendon was around and I retired, they had learning volunteers to go as a help to somebody who'd either got mental health problems mm -hmm. or learning difficulties, and you just went as another class That's member. Yes. And the girl uh, that I helped wanted to do art, and I'd done, not done art since the third year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I really got to love it, so much so that I joined a group in the village, yes. and I thought, right, I'll do this at home, I, you know, I'll set the conservatory mm -hmm. I haven't painted one, one picture. Yeah. You need really? a um, But the theatre and mm. the cinema, I suppose you're looking at dance, don't you, as to what, what is on. I suppose mm. it's more easily, well, it's more accessible in terms of, and get to know more about what's on at the cinema and the theatre. Mm. I don't bother to look at what's on Lakeside every week or yeah. any mm. other. Um, exhibition, so it may be because I'm more interested in the theatre and mm. cinema. And yeah. I don't know if that's, I'm going to say to do with visual thing, but obviously, art, artwork is visual as well. Because I like when I go around an exhibition or um, an art installation, I quite like the films. And I don't know if that's because of sitting down. Yeah. I went to one recently and my partner was walking round and didn't know where I was and I was engrossed in this film for about half an hour <laughs> yeah, yeah. whereas most people came in, looked at it for two minutes and went yes, yes. and I just mm, sat there the it. whole lot yeah, yeah. and sort of lost myself in it so I probably like that sort of um, yeah. medium problem. Okay.
you mm. get more information by sitting and watching the films. Mm. I always do. Yeah. I'm exactly the same. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. think if you've gone to the cinema though, you, you've gone to see something. Yeah. Else. yeah. And you find out about what's on later yes, because they have the trailers, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. on, yeah. what's yeah. on TV. Yeah. 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 Probably you've read the critics as well, so you know whether or not yes. you're going to mm. like it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. With me, it's personal preference. I prefer theatre and music. And, well, I live with an artist. So, um, you know, I go with him mm. because I'm completely ignorant art-wise. Mm. He feels ignorant theatre-wise, mm. so he learns from going with me too. Theatre itself is very expensive. Yes. The well, cinema yeah. is less yeah. so, but things like the contemporary free yeah. yeah, I always yeah. try and get to an afternoon matinee. It's a lot. Cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, you've only got to put your name down at the theatre, because I go to the yeah. Theatre Royal, yeah. it, I have drama oh, classes yeah. there. Oh, right. So um, you can go on their mailing list and they send you everything. Yeah. You can either have hard copy or yes. electronic. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, that's the best thing to do. Thing that I do go to a lot, Robin Hood Theatre, which is a little theatre in the next village in Aram. That's very good. And there was a play on at the weekend which I would have gone to, but it clashed with something else. Often am amateur productions, you know, at local, so local groups mm. put on their productions at this little local theatre, and that's really good. Jazz wise. Arnold uh, Bonington Theatre is the place to go because it's yeah. every, right. every fortnight there's some jazz on and the musicians come up from London. Yeah. Excellent music. The people watching right. are our age yeah. and the people performing are half our age. Yes. <laughs> the Theatre Royal is trying to reach out more by holding lunchtime, yes. live yeah. at lunch, all yeah. sorts of different yeah. things, yeah. Yeah. which is a very good idea. And also they have this... Um, one foot choir, which sing with the Halley Orchestra. Oh, yes, that's right. Right. That's right. Drive time. Yeah. But, it, but it brings yeah. in a really big audience mm. who probably wouldn't normally go to the Theatre Royal, and so they are introduced, perhaps you know, lots of children, for the first time to mm. classical music, and it's, it's a, a gateway in mm. to going to other things. I go to the jazz. If you go to the jazz, or, or even a comedy, even a, some production that's on at night, when you go in, when you start, you can have a drink and there's music mm. playing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and but and at half time, you yeah, know, in the interval, you can go and there's music playing. It's a nice ambience. Uh, if you after the thing's shut, the place is absolutely. Like a mausoleum. <laughs> Everybody's gone. All the staff are gone. And it's right. as dead as anything. Right. You know, and I, I think, why can't they just stay on a bit? They could still talk about the music and stuff like that. It's, it's, got, the, uh, it's got a local authority mentality of putting the chairs on the table before you actually finish your meal. <laughs> Christian churches are not used more because yeah. they're such lovely places. Yeah. Cathy Grindrad, who runs the writing group at the Theatre Royal, uh, was a writer in residence for a year at St Martin's Church, which is the oldest church in Nottingham, mm. and she had a writing group in mm. the church. Mm. And that attracted people who'd never written before. Uh, the church produced this beautiful uh, colour photograph book and uh, with, with poems and writing in that both groups had produced mm -hmm. and we did a performance in the church during a, a festival in the Bilbra area mm -hmm. and that was really interesting mm -hmm. and productive mm -hmm. and again brought people in to listen to poetry that probably never listened to poetry mm -hmm. before. Yeah. One, one of the things I've been involved in, not here, but it, it could be done here, um, is is actually setting up book groups for different ethnic groups, yeah. reading literature that's from their own yes. culture. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, just because somebody doesn't speak English doesn't mean that yeah. they're not well educated and yeah. read a lot and yeah. things like that. But they wouldn't come to one of our book groups yeah. because Jane Austen would 
Mm. You know, yeah. and they wouldn't yeah. necessarily connect with the yeah. cultural references. But there's very little to enable them to get together. We've got quite a multicultural city, but we're not multicultural in our cultural no, um, that is true. exhibitions true. and music yeah. and stuff um, like that. Uh, unless you go to particular particular places yes. there. You know, yeah. it, it yeah. doesn't like reach out. It's, mm -hmm. We don't embrace it, do we? No. Nottingham Refugee mm -hmm. Forum is a very mm -hmm. big organisation and they do have all sorts of different cultural groups doing music mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. song mm -hmm. and dance mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. cookery and things of all the different Mm. about 50 or 60 different ethnic groups that mm. that uh, are part of Refugee Forum. Mm. We've yeah, got people yes. living with us and we don't yes. know anything about mm. them yeah. culturally. Yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm. And, yeah. and they're living here and they may not go to mm. book groups and stuff like that. Definitely, because when I moved yeah. here I didn't know a soul. And um, I met every friend I've met has been through like a watercolor class, a sewing class, a writing class. So I don't know where I'd be without it. Learning new stuff, it just um, gives me, it just opens me up. Through my drama group, mm. uh, it's, it's completely opened the world for me. Yeah. It's really made my life so much better. I, I mean, I think, I can't speak for anybody else, but certainly when I retired, mm. suddenly, you know, you're, a bit of you is suddenly gone and, mm. and you think, you know, what am I, what am I going to do? Yeah. And it's been an absolute lifesaver. The, the writing group I go to and through the writing group, we did have a little reading group as well. And, right. Yeah. And people at the writing group say, oh, have you seen this? And yeah. so off you go. And mm. it's just yeah. been just brilliant. Yeah. 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 Lots of talking as well, discussing things. Yeah. You can tell. But it's yeah. really good. I think yeah. it's... I. I I was very worried about retirement. Everybody said, oh, you, you you, won't know how you had time to go to work. But that didn't happen to me. I was really worried and didn't know what to do with myself. So it was very important. Mm -hmm. All of the things that people yeah. have been talking mm -hmm. about, I think. I think there's something about being taken out of your comfort zone and, and almost like um, being challenged to think yeah. about it. And I, I have no problem in, in thinking goodness that's a load of rubbish but but actually I've been challenged to think that and to think um, <coughs> and, to, and to think outside the box mm. and and that for me yeah. is what the the arts are, are about um, of all sorts but it also needs the other bits which are about the access issues yeah, yeah. Well, there's an awful lot going on that unless you just happen to see a fly you won't know like Mm. There's been a brilliant play touring called Mr. Manager, We Are Lions, mm. and that's all about the Grunwick dispute. Right. And that was just absolutely brilliant, and I was quite worried that, because I'd only discovered it by chance, that not many people would be there, it was at the Polish club, okay. and it was totally packed out. Mm. I've been in social job in medicine, and so mm. it's like all scientific. Mm. And I started to look at the arts and then get more interested and that challenges, yeah. one, it challenges some of your views mm. um, and you learn new skills. Mm. And I think it wards off dementia. <laughs> <laughs> and also in the diversity yeah. that everybody could be given a task to perform in four or five minutes and we'll all come out with something, something very, very different. different yeah. Yeah. That I think and it celebrates that diversity. My only creativity, I used to be a school teacher and all my energy went into creating something in the class. Yeah. There was practically no energy left over for any other form mm -hmm. of creativity. Mm -hmm. and, but I used to enjoy cooking and I did say to myself, this is really creative. Mm. I'm really enjoying putting the dishes together. Now I'm finding, because I've got all this more time, I've got creativity going out in other different directions. Mm. Yeah. And it surprises me that the pleasure I get from creating something is the same whether it's from that from whether it's from the cooking whether it's from the writing whether it's from the artwork it is simply the pleasure in the creating it just built my confidence because i've never um performed in public read anything in public and when it was first brought up to me i was like absolutely not and i i did it and i felt really good about myself yeah. that i can do it and i never yeah. thought i would it, 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 it no progresses our culture, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. An arts is an expression of our culture, yeah. but we yeah. are a very diverse society now. Yeah. Advertising more effectively, either on the tram or in other ways, but also 
Um, looking at exhibitions is a, is a rather specialised form of uh, interaction yeah. that doesn't appeal to a lot of people. And, yeah. and if they want to increase people's responses, you know, at the, um, the contemporary or, or uh, bright ideas, then they need to have um, either some discussion groups or to draw in communities. Yeah. But I'm sure there are these other groups, if they could get those to, people, to yeah. come along occasionally, and have some activities or discussion, that's the way they will increase their, you know, their attendance. Yeah.